Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On this channel, we take a look at police interaction videos and discuss our constitutional rights. Today's interaction comes to us from a channel that I'm excited to share and endorse, and that is Half Blind Audits. In this video, you are going to see him do hero's work by saving these two young men from being profiled and having their rights violated by the Bryan Police Department in the state of Texas. This video goes to show how some officers just profile people and mess with them in hopes of them not understanding their rights and cooperating with the cops, just to have their names ran through the system and possibly ticketed or arrested. Half Blind Audits does a great job of documenting these crooked cops in action while simultaneously standing up for his fellow man. Be sure to go subscribe to his channel and let him know I sent you over. We got on the person stop, the 29th at Parker, the uh, black male, approximately six feet tall, wearing a red shirt and gray pants. They've pulled somebody over. Well, I actually haven't pulled somebody over. They just said it's a person stop. Black male. That's what I heard on the radio. Well, we're going to go see what it's all about in this public park. So we got a gang here now. The Blue Line Gang. You don't want to talk to these guys at all. Okay. Call came over the radio. He was stopping a black male. A person. That's, that's not what came out. So that's all. We got a person stop. The 29th at Parker, the uh, black male, approximately six feet tall, wearing a red shirt and gray pants. That's all that. Uh, that's all that came out. You guys don't need to talk to these these men in the uniform at all. No, I don't. I'm in a public place. We know the law. Interference is a physical act. You guys say the same things over and over again. Now he's going to tell me if I'm talking, I'm interfering. It's my First Amendment right. We can film in public just like they are. Man, y'all don't have to talk to them. They're just fishing for stuff to tell you to, to, to find ways to cuff you and stuff you. You don't have to say a single thing to these guys. They're just looking for someone to take down. That's what it is. No more George Floyds on our watch, fellas. You notice they walk away when the camera comes out, huh? Tell you what, you grab a camera anytime these bozos stop you. Anytime. Interfering. Learn the law, bud. Interference. Tell your chief to answer his emails. You guys won't get bugged by me. I noticed you left when the camera came. Keep doing it that way.
They give y'all name and badge number or anything like that? No. Didn't tell you? Did they tell you why they were coming? No. Apparently somebody was washing clothes in the thing over there. Yeah, like all the little kids who go play in it. Yep. Um, <laughs> they they said they saw both of us here, and so people had felt intimidated. People felt intimidated, huh? Yeah. I just walked up. Yeah. Me, he turned in the parking lot. You're the you're the one who came over the radio. They said black male, about six one, red red shirt. Yep. Yep. They came over here and found me. And they get and, and and he just came up and said, "Give me your ID or, you Started know." Talking for about a good five minutes before he even asked for the ID. Right. He's just trying to figure out what we doing. He's here. yeah, he's fishing because he's looking for something to get you guys on because you're in a public place. Yep. This is not Nazi Germany. You don't have to give your ID to no popo. Exactly. You only have to give it to to him when you've been arrested. Mm. That's it. That was a consensual conversation, and they were just trying to find something. Then they called back up. Mm -hmm. And then you saw that shit. You know? Right when they called back up, you pulled up. I appreciate it. Because I'm like, yo, they don't even need backup for this shit. No, they shouldn't even be bugging you. Exactly. Shouldn't even be talking to you. You know, you guys are enjoying a public park. Enjoying it doesn't matter park. if you have bags, suitcases, or, or you drive a semi. Exactly. You're sitting in, the, sitting in the park. Exactly. Trying to enjoy some shade. Hours, 11 to 5 is the only time we're not supposed to be here. So it's during the day. Trying to enjoy some shade, get a little charge on the phone. Yep, ain't, ain't nothing else going on. And they say that's not what came over the radio. Mm -hmm. Well, when I play the video on YouTube, it's going to have that radio call, and it's going to say, personal stop, black male, 6'1", wearing red, mm. corner of 29th and Parker, mm. you know, yep. which is right up there. Yep. You know, was one of y'all walking? Yep. The 29th and Parker, the uh, black male, approximately 6 feet tall, wearing a red shirt, and gray pants. They caught you walking, and then at that point, they swung. They caught the world war. Yeah, crazy. They caught you walking and swung right around. Yeah, to the I was walking right here. See? Yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. They don't like me. They don't like me. Appreciate it. They don't like me. And that is how it is done. Props to Half Blind Audits for taking the time to help these men from having their rights violated by the cops. At this point, it isn't even public service. It's just straight-up harassment that these cops are doing. That is why it is so important to educate yourselves on your constitutional rights and always record your police interactions no matter what. Not just your own, but interactions in your area as well. You never know when you could be saving someone from becoming a victim of the system. Again, be sure to go subscribe to Half Blind Audits and give him the credit he deserves.